could we do with the United States military budget? The United States military budget is currently 598.3 billion US dollars, which is more than the next seven highest countries combined. So, the United States military defense budget is pretty big. It's more than China, the United Kingdom, and Russia, so good job, USA. The military spending is projected to account for 54% of all the United States federal discretionary spending. Realistically, we do need a defense budget of at least $200 billion to stay at the top of the list. But for the sake of this video, we're going to pretend we don't need one at all, and we're going to use the entire defense budget. So let's go ahead and find out how much it costs to do certain things and where we can go with this budget. So as you may know, Puerto Rico has gone through a lot lately. They've experienced hurricanes and lots of destruction throughout the region. Puerto Rico's cost to repair is estimated at close to 100 billion. And now that we have the defense budget in our grasp, let's go ahead and fix all of Puerto Rico, as well as give them a little extra in order to keep on going uh, for years to come. This cost will be at around $100 billion, which for us with this defense budget is not very much. All right, guys, so we're going to be nice again and go ahead and fix another thing, which is cancer. We're going to go ahead and cure cancer for free for every single person who has it in the U.S., which is about 100,000 people per year and will cost us only $1 billion, which is almost nothing compared to our budget that we have. So now this is one of my personal favorites. We're going to go ahead and pay for everyone's college in the United States. This will cost us about 70 billion US dollars, which is honestly still not that much compared to the entire military budget that we have. So let's go ahead and be nice and pay for all those universities and colleges. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey. So I love NASA and Space I want to increase the NASA budget back to uh, similar to what it was years ago during the space race. It's since been a fraction of what it is now. And I'm gonna go ahead and increase the funding, which is currently 18.4 billion US dollars, 10 times over, which will be $184 billion, which is a pretty significant amount of money, but still it's not even half of the entire military budget that we have available. So homelessness is a huge problem in the United States, especially where I live in Portland, Oregon. And I'm going to go ahead and give every single person a very nice $100,000 house, which if we multiply that by the 500,000 homeless people and families in the United States currently, it'll cost us a cool 50 billion US dollars. So to go along the topic of building, we're going to go ahead and build, fix up and supply every public school in the United States for only 5 billion US dollars. All right, so after all of this, this puts us at a total cost of 415 billion US dollars, which is an incredible amount of money, but we still have 200 billion left over to spend, and we still have the highest military budget in the world. But let's keep going. So now let's go into some more controversial spending. First off, let's go ahead and rehabilitate every single U.S. inmate. This will cost an average of $2,000 per inmate, which is a lot better compared to the $63,000 for incarceration. This will only cost us $5 billion, which really isn't anything compared to the total U.S. military budget. So this next one I think a lot of people here will appreciate, and this one is to completely pay for the backlog of maintenance for the U.S. national parks. This will cost us a smooth 12 billion U.S. dollars. So this next one is another sort of controversial topic, which is paying for the completion of the Ring Road in Afghanistan. This will cost $1.5 billion and will help rebuild trade, infrastructure, and the economy of Afghanistan, which will hopefully lower terrorism throughout the country. So a lot of people watching might not want to pay for this one, but I'm just going to go ahead and mention it anyways because I think it's funny. So it'll cost $15 billion to actually build Trump's wall. And it's actually not that much if you look at the U.S. military budget, but it's also a giant wall bordering Mexico. So, yeah. So even after all of that, we still have about 150 billion U.S. dollars left over. 
So what do we do with 150 billion US dollars? Well, I'm not sure. So I'm leaving that up to you guys to decide. Comment below or tweet at me at Stalker Finance or comment on my Facebook too, if that's what you're using, what you would do with the leftover money. Also, make sure to subscribe, and if you haven't checked out the Business Explained series, I highly recommend you do. Another nice thing is that my friends made a meme of this video, and it's pretty funny, so go check that out. Anyways, this is Stalker Finance, and I will see you in the next video.